I take my first step. <gasps> I was like Gumby on a conveyor belt. I got on there and my shoe just fit right off. Oh my god. Still smiling. Hey guys, Jessica here. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at an episode from America's Next Top Model where they make the girls walk a runway on a conveyor belt. And we're also going to be checking out the photo shoot from the same episode. So let's take a look and see what they made the girls do this time. Conveyor belt. I don't even, I don't even know if I'm ready for this. I already feel bad from now. I feel bad from now. Good morning. But is it? Why are you telling them good morning? Get cut to the chase. Tell them they're gonna risk their life yet again. We will demonstrate. You will come here at the top, and you will pose for about three seconds. Then you'll walk. Then you will pose another three seconds. Then you will come over here and strike your pose. But you will stand there. And you will glide back. So there's one trick. When you're doing it, it will be moving. Who's not surprised right now? Who had a little bit of hope? Like, no, they're not gonna, it's not gonna be that bad. Who else? No, none of you guys, probably. <laughs> Let's be real here. That is conveyor belt. And the conveyor belt will be moving. Is this a gym? So now this is Planet Fitness. Okay. So this is basically an exercise version of Ninja Warrior. <laughs> Why do I keep referencing Ninja Warrior? I like the show. And this, that's what they're doing. I just want to know where Jigsaw and his tricycle are in all of this. Is he behind the scenes? I'm just saying, you don't see the producers of America's Next Top Model and Jigsaw in the same room ever. I've never seen them both. Are, are you kidding me? And girls, don't let these pros show you up. This is going to be tough because you're going to be wearing heels and they're going to be wearing sneakers. And the model that I see working, they're going to lose designs the best with composure and confidence. We'll get some fierce jewelry by Miss Lisa Free. So you, you, they're doing all of that to get it like a couple necklaces? That's not worth it to me. Are you paying the hospital bills? What's going on there? What's happening at like when I'm on the stretcher? Are you guys covering that? I don't have insurance right now. I would say, oh, why aren't the girls wearing sneakers? But we all know they're they're doing this because they want the girls to fall. Let's not act surprised. Why are we surprised? I excited for the jewelry. <laughs> hospital visit also. Trauma. The prize on Survivor is a million dollars. I'm just saying. And that's a survival show. Take your time when you step onto the moving platform. You may get a little bit jump, but keep it together. Do you think there's a risk with this getting caught in the conveyor belt? Absolutely. She brings up a very good point. They're all wearing, it looks like they're all wearing long gowns. Who, who is not surprised at all? They got the heels, the long dresses, and they didn't even have the girls practice on any sort of conveyor belt before this, I'm sure. Or maybe I'm wrong, maybe they did, but it doesn't look like they did. Girl, fashion is a risk. <laughs> My dress is... Does insurance cover that? Fashion risk? Oh, God. This is a recipe for a disaster. <laughs> oh Just like the other runway with the pendulums, they filled this place... To capacity. I don't even think there's a capacity limit in this tunnel. So they're like, just bring in random people. Yeah, there's a guy, he just crossed the street. Bring him in. Make sure he doesn't miss this. Some, they're gonna, they're all gonna fall. Come on. It's a conveyor. It's a treadmill. We put five of them together. This is it. I'm excited. I'm a little nervous going first, but I think I'm pretty good at walking my It's my favorite. I don't want to trip, so I'm just not even thinking about that. Looked good fast, but I don't know. So I take my first step. <gasps> no, are you s that? Is this a marathon? Who put this to like 200 miles per hour? Look at this lady's face right here. This is the face of pure fear. When your audience looks like this on a runway show, you're supposed to admire the clothes. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, I would totally wear that to brunch. No, this lady's thinking, hey, I'm gonna watch somebody get seriously hurt right now. No. And I was like Gumby on a conveyor belt. It was awful. She recovered very well. And I just thought the whole time what Miss J said, you know, no matter how it goes, keep your model composure. So that's what I was focusing on. The thing is, there's such small strips of conveyor belt that even if you were to finally get get a good stride, 
you would have to abruptly end it. So it doesn't even give you, you don't even have that much room to improve on this. Backwards? Backwards. What is what? Is, what is this? The Olympics? Everyone in the crowd is like, "Oh, oh, beautiful dress. Yeah, amazing." No, you think anyone's thinking that? They're not. They're thinking, "Oh my God, who's gonna fall?" My whole thing is I have to concentrate on the emotion of my face and composing my face. God. So I get on and I was like, "Oh." Lord, I'm not say that. <laughs> You're saying what we're all thinking right now. Good. What? I've never felt more embarrassed at one time in my life. I'd rather have natural labor again than do this. What the? How is this okay? Is Jigsaw going to be credited as one of the producers for this episode? Are we going to see his name in the credits? Jigsaw with the tricycle. Yeah, he just scooted in here this morning. He set this whole thing up, actually. Brilliant man. But I play lacrosse since I was three, so I definitely have some better side, which I don't think necessarily people recognize here, but it's definitely there. Jane is all academics in the I just don't think that she is fully comfortable or confident yet with who she is and what she can deliver. I'm calling the police. I need to throw up one of these every two minutes at this point. Oh my god. The fact that every single model so far has struggled with just getting on the runway and has almost fallen just says it all. You couldn't put him in a sneaker? Barefoot? Crocs? Who cares? Any, literally anything. <laughs> She's li it's really hard to watch people try to get through obstacle courses like this when you know the difficulty level is way too high and it's just not doable. You're just watching people fail at this point. Oh my god. I'm still smiling though. Yeah, I'm still fierce. I'm still fierce. This girl lost her shoe and almost got sucked up by the conveyor belt. For what? What was the reason? This is just so cruel. But I'm an athlete. I was in track and I was on treadmills a lot. I just seem to have more expression in my face and walk with the meaning. I love the confidence, but at the same time, that conveyor belt was taken. No survivors. I hope that she does good, though. He, look at those sneakers right there. Beautiful. Look at him, not even, did you even see him stutter right there? Nothing. I walk on the conveyor belt and it jerks me forward, but I think I keep my composure pretty well. I think that the crowd really helps me actually because they're cheering louder than I heard them cheer for other girls and they seemed really excited because I was kind of pulling it off. Yeah, because she's like the only person out of like 50 people to not almost get sucked into the black hole that was the conveyor belt. Girl, they're they're clapping because you're doing a good job, but also because they don't have to witness you fall off this thing. Insurance company calls people in the crowd like, were you a witness to this injury right there? They're like, no. There's, but my man Jigsaw though, he was on a tricycle. You want his number? I was nervous, but my dress, it was just really, really sexy. And it fit me really well. <laughs> Casey, she actually can walk pretty well. I think she did a good job and she feeds off the audience. Okay, that was really fabulous though. Doesn't make the concept okay. It's still messed up. Oh my god. Okay. I hate the fact that people in the crowd are like making faces and making fun of the girls. 
look at she before this girl can even pick herself up from this fall they're like send the next girl out it's okay she's fine she only broke her leg it's okay we can get that she can do the crutches look at she's still this, this poor girl she's just trying to make it through the day this guy's going sideways he's so confident in those sneakers not a care in the world you pan right here to this model god bless her she's wearing like 20 inch heels this long dress Okay, at least they have that little springy mattress thing. Wow, that's so nice of you guys. Maybe if you slow down the conveyor belt, you wouldn't need that. You ever went to sushi where they have it on a conveyor belt? Maybe that speed? Maybe that speed. The show got what they wanted. Mostly everybody fell. So let's see what the photo shoot is going to be. I guess it's going to be wrestling or something. Wrestling themed? I don't know. For today's photo shoot, you girls will be in high fashion editorial designs, but you will be posing opposite these guys. Now for the first time... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, that sounds interesting. Wrestling. I never really got into wrestling when I was younger. I was more into Pokemon. Face needs a little more girl to it. No, don't do the no, no. Open. Love the feedback from the photographers. They're very involved. They're hipping the, the girls up. It seems like high energy, but it's good energy so far. And also, Jay said something, and then the photographer is like, no, don't do that. What Mr. Jay said. So she has two conflicting opinions here. I like the fact that the photographer is kind of standing his ground and being like, no, don't do that. Because it is his photo shoot at the end of the day. Looks fake right now. Very interesting thing to think about. We have the photographer saying one thing and then the creative director, Mr. J, who's saying another thing. So the model was just kind of like, okay, who do I listen to? What do I do? What do you guys think about that situation? Who would, if you were the model, who would you listen to more, photographer or creative director? Cool. Can I say one thing real quick? You're going... Sound like a baby elephant. You're trying to restrain what you don't really want to do. So just do it and commit to it. Did you see that little laugh right there? Even he knows what he's saying is too much. <laughs> she looks, sounds like a shrieking hyena. <laughs> so she's a baby elephant and a, and a shrieking hyena? Okay. Just making sure. Bring your chin down. Bring your chin down. Oh, 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 that's it. That's it. Jane, point to me like you're next. That's not a point. Point. You guys notice how the photographer has such good energy and he's like, yeah, do that. And then Mr. J chimes in and he's like, you're doing this. No. Constantly just bringing the mood down. So uh, you, you just notice that the contrast between photographer and then the creative director, Mr. J. Just notice that. That's the best we're gonna get from Mr. J. He's like, it's better. That's <laughs> the styling, the concept, and the lighting looks great so far. I gotta be honest, this is good. You're actually finding the intensity in the face. I'm believing it. What just happened there? I was I was preparing for a roast right there. I like to see this side of Mr. J. Positive. Good feedback. Can I jump? Did I tell you to jump? Yes. Then jump. Boy, this ain't what you want. I'm from Texas, honey. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Right here. You gave me a consistent effort. I appreciate that. I, I love her. She's so fun. She gives it 1,000%. I really need you to do things that are different. Not just standing there holding the chicken head in the air. You gotta be comfy. You're not comfy. You're scared. Don't be scared. I, I need to be like, money, money, money. Okay, go easy on her. She's There's a lot of people and she might not be that confident. That's okay. They were giving me kind of bad feedback at first. Like, 
first, so uh, I guess I walked up. Yeah. I'm just a little upset right now. Like, How I started that? out having top photos. It's just really hard to stay at the top. See, that's what happens when you're not given constructive feedback. It, it becomes just criticism, and that gets to the models. They kind of internalize that, and it shows in their photos. Let me see the food. You know, uh, uh, I'm fine. No, 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 not you. Yeah, I was uh, slipping. She's really not graceful. Lexi doesn't know how to. How to what? How to wrestle? She's not a professional Olympian. She doesn't do Ninja Warrior on the weekends. She was never on an episode of Wipeout. She never met Jigsaw. Standing on the rope is not the most flattering for you because you've just gotten on a roll. I mean, just by the skin of your teeth. That's it. Last friend. That's it. They, wow, what good motivation. You just started doing decently. Barely by a hair, by a grain. Do you know how, have you ever seen a grain of rice? By that much. That's a wrap, everybody. He's just not pleased. He's not. He's gonna go. He's gonna go tell Tyra all of this. So let's take a look at the judging and see these final photos. Let's see your best. <laughs> wow, the editing is so cool. I love the colors. Love, love, love the colors. It's a cool photo. I just gotta say, love the light. I'm gonna go back and check out the lighting for this photo shoot because I really like it. You seem nervous. I'm nervous and excited at the same time. Little things I would have done probably had her hand go from this to like maybe I don't know something like that like maybe she's about to punch him or something I would have adjusted the leg placement here this leg looks a little weird but she is wearing heels so I mean she's trying to balance on this rope not much that she can do and then the clarity in this photo is a bit much I would have just went down a notch maybe on the background too it looks like they brought a lot of those, the shadows out. Not sure what's going on in the background in terms of like the clarity. They really pushed that slider all the way to 100. I don't really, oh my God, you know, I didn't even notice this was her arm. Like her arm just looks weird. It doesn't look, I don't know, something about her arm being like that straight out doesn't look right to me. Like, I don't know, it just doesn't. I would have liked to have seen her shoulder maybe. It just, who else thinks that just looks kind of weird? It just looks like it's sticking out. I think she could have done a better pose. And then her arm kind of gets lost in the back. It's kind of like doing one of these. Gets lost all the way in the back. Wow. What? I'm speechless from how beautiful this is. Her expression, like the way that her body's posed, the lighting, the colors. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This is by far the best picture. How did you feel about the photo shoot? I didn't feel too great because I thought that I had like let Mr. J, the photographers, down. So you've had best picture three weeks in a row. Is there pressure there? I'm always. Interesting that you mentioned that, Tyra. Are you guys creating the pressure so she feels the pressure to have the best picture? I was thinking that I have to keep up my game. This photo shoot, I just. I really didn't do my best, and I just took it really hard. Are you ready to see our best shot? Yeah, that's amazing. Where's her arm? Where's her hand? Oh, she's doing like one of these. I probably would have went from this to like that instead of the fingers and the shape getting lost in her hand and her arm. The wrestler is blocking this guy's face, which I feel like is an integral part of the photo because she's kind of taking off his mask. So maybe we should give critique to this guy right here. <laughs> it's a great photo. I would have loved to have seen some more intensity, but I understand I saw the behind the scenes, so I'm sure it wasn't easy to do. It's extraordinary. You have to get some confidence up there in that tall body of yours. This <laughs> is so Italian Vogue. You own the ring. See, you can see the other girls starting to get annoyed, like maybe because she's getting number one every single week. And my theory is that they do this purposely in order to do two things. Number one, they could put that model on a pedestal like, oh, she's been getting best picture three, four weeks in a row. That creates a little bit of division between the girls because now they have someone to target because she's doing so well. 
And also that puts more pressure on the model to do even better the next time. And then on the other hand, they could be doing this to kind of set up the model where she's doing the best every single week. And then suddenly she's not doing the best anymore. Oh, what happened? Now she's in the bottom two. Now she's doing the worst. Oh, she almost went home last week. So there's two different scenarios there that can play out. Again, just my theory when it comes to reality TV with a model in competition. The clarity is a little bit too much, but it kind of fits this chaotic atmosphere of the wrestling ring. So I get it. And the mouth. And the eyes. And the mouth. The eyes. <laughs> sometimes we think we have the worst day. And sometimes it turns out to be our best photo shoot. And sometimes there's magic that is created. And you created magic. Look, unpopular opinion. Love Anne. It's not a bad photo, but it definitely was not the best. I think the, that other one was way better. That's, I think they're doing this on purpose. I just I have a feeling that they're hyping this up, again, to create more tension in the house. Oh, she had the best picture again. Watch her get best photo. They're following a narrative here. They're, they do everything with intention on this show. I'm telling you guys. Yeah, it's a modeling competition, but they're also there to create drama. It's a reality show. That's what they're going to do. So again, this is my theory. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments. If Anne gets best photo, it will only validate my theory. That's all I'm saying. To me, personally. Lovely. Oh, so amazing. The fact that she has her hand placed on her next to her knee right there perfect because her hair her hand doesn't get lost behind her leg beautiful love the shape that her body's creating her face is stunning beautiful beautiful what you're doing right now is you're going like this you're arching your back right that's classic kind of porn position if you've done the reverse you're crumpled forward yeah. and go like that then it becomes fashion don't say that do what what i'm throwing up one of these I'm running out of stop signs. You, So edgy, so cool. And she's giving face to the camera while doing all of that. In heels? God bless her. Where did you think you were going? To pop the off all day? The dress and the shoes with the hair. What if that's all she has to wear? What if she doesn't have any other dress? What if she doesn't have a lot of clothes? Just, you don't have to... It's not America's Next Top Fashion Stylist. Look how fast it is. I just did that's my you guys are embarrassing her on on this on this reality show on national tv you're really gonna lie to her face and tell her that that looks good oh, yes! Nigel, get, get, get the shot do it are you ready to see your best shot yes she looks stunning i see the action I, I get a story from this picture. Look at me. I really feel like I'm part of the judging. Like, oh my God. <laughs> Clarity is throwing me off. When they do those zoom-ins, Chelsea was number one. This one is easily number two. Best photo. Wow, great. I don't like the wig on her, but everything else looks great. I like it. I think it's very high fashion. You lucked out with brilliant accessories, like those boots and stockings. What do you mean she lucked out? No, she didn't. The boots lucked out to be on those legs right there. Those beautiful legs. <laughs> so let's see who goes home. Wait, wait. Actually, before we see who goes home, I want to see who wins best picture and if it happens to be Anne. Just so I can see if it fits my theory. If I get this right. <laughs> okay, let's see. Best picture this week goes to... <laughs> Top model first. And never before in the history of the next top model has a girl started that? with best picture and got it four times in a row. What did I tell you guys? What did I tell you guys? What did I I knew it? I knew it. They're doing this on purpose to make Anne the main target. Oh, she's getting best picture four weeks in a row. That's going to aggravate a lot of the girls. You can see that. Did you see their facial expressions when Anne won yet again? That would frustrate anybody in a competition. So they're going to probably probably not even like her after this and be like, oh my God, she keeps winning. We need to get her out. Anne had a good picture, but she did not have the best picture. And that's how you create a target. That's how you create drama out of nothing. I'm telling you guys, I got it. See, I knew it. I can't wait to hear Tyra's customized speech for each of these girls. Lexi, vivacious, personality, big, 
we know who she is. Then you get in front of that camera, especially this week, and we're like, does she want to be here? Ooh, she used the, I don't think you want to be here. That's been recycled. I like that one, though. That's a good one. Jane, nice pictures. But from week after week, who is she? There's who is she? There, she just doesn't want to show it. I like that one. That's a good one. Very obscure. Who is she? We don't know who she is. Does anyone know? Oh, she's been here five weeks? Give me the roster one more time. But from week after week, who is she? There's something there. She just doesn't want to show She it. doesn't want to, because even she though she's there. Because she doesn't want to. Her terrible pictures is because she's not there. So who stays? Tell us, Tyra. Jane. We don't know Jane. Who are you? What is that even supposed to mean? Yeah, you know who she is. She's been there for five episodes, Tyra. If you don't know, you should ask somebody. That's such like a philosophical question. Who are you? That was a very mean, cruel, dangerous runway that we saw. I'm never getting on a tre treadmill ever in my life. I can't even believe they disguised that as a runway. That was like a fitness obstacle course. Final thoughts are that America's Next Top Model needs to stop. And I need to go make some tea because this episode got me stressed out.